Hey everyone, this is Luki from LFMMO.com, a recommendation series where players reach out to us for, you guessed it, recommendations on MMOs to play. Uh, these players may be unhappy with their current MMOs, so we offer up new games for them to try based on their criteria. We always recommend three MMOs in hopes that a player will try each one and hopefully find the one that they like. While we're just addressing one specific player's needs, uh, we think there might be others of you out there looking for the same thing. So let's get started. First off, we have Camelune who has been playing MMOs for the past three years. Camelune writes, I am looking for a new MMO RPG to play. Ideally, it would be fantasy or anime themed. I previously played World of Warcraft. That was my first and only MMO RPG I have played. It is a fun game, but with Legion expansion coming out next year, I figure I wait till that and try new games till then. In terms of playstyle, I would consider myself semi-casual. I do like to do max level stuff like raids, but not every week. I would like a game where I can jump in for an hour or so a day and still make progression on my character. No preferred mechanics. I am open to anything. If the game is free to play, that would be ideal since I don't have a set play schedule. Okay, Camaloon. After reading your criteria, the first game I would recommend off the bat is Wildstar. Wildstar fits your fantasy themed requirement even though it leans a little more towards sci-fi fantasy, uh, which in my opinion is still a great theme. Uh, the game is an open world MMORPG which you were looking for and there's a good number of people playing this game right now as it just turned free to play. Another plus for a semi-casual player like yourself. Since the only MMORPG game you've played is World of Warcraft, it would be easy for you to jump right into Wildstar as the setup is pretty similar. There is the good side, known as the Exile, and then the bad, known as the Dominion. There are six classes in the game, a Warrior, Engineer, Spellslinger, which was my class, Esper, Stalker, and Medic. Although different names, each class could be easily correlated to a class in WoW. A Spellslinger is similar to a Mage, which is of course what I played, while a Stalker can be likened to a Rogue. While this game is similar to WoW, I think once you start playing, you'll notice some differences and unique aspects to this game. Other differences are the movement and combat mechanics, which make the game interesting. You can double jump, sprint, and dash, uh, which was really important in combat. Um, in combat in Wildstar, it's focused around telegraphs. Uh, you can think of telegraphs as zones that are displayed on the ground. Red zones are obviously bad and you should avoid them or you get damaged, while the green zones are usually good and are healing spells from your allies. Each player can also have a plot of land where they can build and customize their own home. I'm a big collector so many of my favorite things was trying to find unique items to place on my land. Items can range from simple things like decor to more useful items like gardens where you can farm materials. There were also some items that were sort of mini games which I really loved. Uh, you can play them and receive a reward if you complete it. Throughout your time in Wildstar, you can be questing, uh, doing dungeons with friends, uh, PvPing against other players, or visiting other people's homes. Overall, Wildstar could be a solid choice as it offers all the things that you are looking for. My second recommendation is Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. This is another great MMORPG, but I first wanted to call out the fact that I would not consider this game to be casual friendly. But since you mentioned you are looking for something semi-casual, I still thought that this would be a good fit. Questing and traveling through zones isn't as simple and straightforward like in World of Warcraft, and it does require a little bit more thinking. While this game is a bit more complex in some aspects, it can lead to a very rewarding experience. With a name like Final Fantasy, it hits your criteria right off the bat for a fantasy-themed game. Final Fantasy XIV also went through a relaunch in 2013, and I personally think the changes they made and the things they worked on have made this a solid MMO. Square Enix listened to their players and were able to craft an MMO worth playing. With this relaunch and their shift to free to play, the player base has seen a significant amount of growth. Here are some more specific information about the game that I felt would be appealing to what you were looking for. Classes are broken up into four disciplines, War, Magic, Hand, and Land. Your character can be any class as long as they are wielding a specific weapon. So if you want to play another class, just change your weapon. This is great if you are interested in only focusing on one character, but are interested in trying out a wide range of classes. Partying with allies is a little bit more fun in Final Fantasy XIV. Strategy and teamwork is different but very important in this game. In order to acquire the opportunity to use the special group ability Limit Break, members of your party have to be performing their role exceptionally well. 
Whether or not you're familiar with previous Final Fantasies, you're still in store for some great endgame content when you reach max leveling, including some very interesting bosses. My third and last recommendation is Dragmon Hunter. Since you specifically called out that you were looking for an anime-themed MMORPG, I thought I would throw this in there. While I don't think this game is as fleshed out and popular as the previous recommendations, I still thought it would be worth a try. This game actually just got released a couple of months ago and it would be a good time for you to check it out. Just a bit of disclaimer here though, I just recently started playing this game so I don't know everything about it. I do know that several people have been comparing this game to Monster Hunter, which is a good thing. In this game, you are trying to collect the different Dragomons by defeating them in battle. A big thing people focus on in this game is getting Dragomon mounts. Um, I really love mounts in WoW, so this was a big thing for me. And the system basically goes like this. You kill a Dragomon and it has a chance to drop regular items and gear, and sometimes it will spawn an egg or a chest after it's dead. You can only get mounts from the eggs and chest. Even if an egg or chest spawns, it's not 100% guaranteed that she'll receive a mount. The three things you get from the egg or chest is a trophy or an accessory, a one day mount of that monster that you killed, or a permanent mount of the monster you killed. There are four classes that you can choose from, cleric, mage, mercenary, and scout. No matter what class you play, you are accompanied by a hopalong. Uh, it pretty much looks like a bunny, I guess that's why they named it a hopalong, um, but each hopalong has their own classes and skills. Hopefully you try it out for yourself to see if it's a good fit for you. It is free to play after all. So those are my three recommendations, Wildstar, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, and Dragonmon Hunter. Hopefully you try them out and find the one that best fits you. Until next time! If you have any more recommendations for Kamloon or want to post your own LFM memo, check out our website.